We found out about um, the heart defect actually this uh, second day that we were in the hospital. The pediatrician went on to explain that Carter actually had two holes in his heart, one in the upper chamber and one in the lower chamber. Which meant that he was having overcirculation in his uh, pulmonary arteries, and that results in poor growth. It was scary uh, to find out that he had to have the heart surgery. Um, just knowing that he had to go through that at such a young age was painful to have to see. I think it was knowing that we were going to have the best care, we were going to have the best people around us. Um, that really helped me to believe that this was, this was what needed to happen and I was thankful that there was something that could be done. When I operate on a child, I tell the family that this is your child, but in a few moments it will be my child and I will take care of this child like it is my own. The moment that we got upstairs and I realized the walk was over and I was gonna have to hand him off, I wanted to run, <laughs> I wanted to just run out of the hospital with him. I was so scared that it'd be the last time I'd hold him. Looking back now at pictures of him uh, before he had the surgery and now, I realized that in my mind, I didn't see him as sick. I mean, you look at the pictures and you can tell he is sickly. So it was the right thing to do, but it was, it was almost impossible to hand him over to someone else. His prognosis is great. He'll have to you know, go through maybe some other surgeries, but after really researching, after really looking at all those other options and hearing what other parents sometimes experience, you realize that you know, these things are minor. Uh, my child is here with me today and he's gonna grow and he's gonna accomplish things. And I'm, I'm just, I'm already so proud of him. It's just unbelievable.